Our pet of the week, pets of the week, a cuddle bunny <laughs> and more here on Live at Nine along with Nina Wingfield from SPCA Memphis. And this week we're shining a light on an animal shelter in DeSoto County, Mississippi. Tell me who we have here, Nina. Well, we have my good friend Glenn Andrews from Horn Lake Animal Shelter. And you've got Sadie and Nico. They have been at the Horn Lake Animal Shelter for five years. Wow. So Horn Lake goes above and beyond to take care of the animals that come in. I'm going to let Glenn talk about his wonderful animal shelter. Yes, tell me. Hey, how's it going? It's great. <clears throat> as soon as our little friend here saw Corey Ventura, like, look like, oh, oh. So. These are two amazing dogs. Corey. They they really have, they really are. They've been, uh, like Nina said, with the shelter for five years. Uh, they were adopted as a pair at one point. They were returned. Uh, and each one of them have been adopted, uh, you know, several times and, and just returned. Uh, prior to, to my arrival, we weren't able to really figure out what the return reasons were. Um, but undoubtedly, it has to do with just not dedicating enough time to yeah. working with them yeah. um, and giving them the chance to decompress and be, just be figured out, just be dogs. Yeah. Uh, but as you can see, <laughs> these two dogs are wonderful with other people. Cuddle bunny. Um, right yes, here. they do great in car rides. <laughs> um, they are heartworm positive. Uh, but we have some sponsors that are helping us with treating all of our dogs for heartworms. That is a very, very serious disease that is that is prominent here in this area. So it's uh, yeah, because of all the, the the heat and the soil and just the mosquitoes. Whole, yeah, mos okay, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's how it spread. Okay. Um, oh, mosquitoes! Yep. I should know that. Yeah, I really yes. should. Know. So <laughs> like, yeah. Sorry. Well, well, you you live and you learn, right? Yes, yes. So uh, this area, you know, being that the winters are short, the mosquitoes don't really have a chance to die off. Right. And so a lot of our dogs are at risk for having heartworms. And in Horn Lake, uh, it's a very small rural shelter. Uh, we are doing our best to bring it up to speed with <laughs> Where do you industry go? standards. Go fire boy mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> well, look at this yeah. love, uh, like live. They love, love each other. Oh, they love each other. Yeah. They are best friends in their play group, oh, uh, which gosh. I'm very proud to say Horn Lake does. We have play groups. All of our dogs get together. They Sweet hang out, baby. Um, and we're thinking that that's going to help them to if they go went to another home with another dog. Uh, we hope that that helps them to get along with another dog. Right, wow. And so we were also talking about winterization. Right, so very, very important, especially now we know that the uh, weather is changing, that mm -hmm. the change is upon us. And so it's gonna be important to make sure that dogs have an escape from the elements. Having a dog house, putting straw in it, if that's what your choice is, of course, your dog being a member of the family should be at, at home with you inside the house, uh, being able to be a dog and sit at your feet while you watch TV. And I think that this one right here and this one right here mm -hmm. would love to sit at anyone's feet while they're watching TV, um, as you can see. I, I, I <laughs> literally, I sat down and Sadie just like, like put her head right on my uh -huh. knee immediately. And look, sitting on my foot. And they're very warm. You know when you mm -hmm. have, like I, I live in Midtown and so there are drafts. Right. And this is like a draft blocker and foot warmer. <laughs> I love it. Where have you been? <laughs> I need, we need, we need I that. Know. <laughs> But Sweet there's way. no better protection yeah, yeah. for you right. than for these dogs to be inside your right, house right, and not outside. Inside. Right. Yeah. That's another thing, too, because they will protect you to the end. And, you know, one thing you said about understanding your pets, I had little Roscoe, a little Minpin, and Roscoe just talked a lot. And so a previous owner, I was the second owner, was just like, this dog is just barking all the time. I'm like, no, 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 Roscoe's talking to you, one. And then right. two, Roscoe heard things from really, like more than my other dog. So, so Roscoe could hear so much and would bark before the other dog. That meant that there was something out there. So I'm like, no, you have to th know that Roscoe's helping you. That's right. an alert system. Right. So yeah, so anyway, th I really appreciate you saying to Thank learn you. the animals and you talking about, oh, we have to talk about if we have time for the pictures to show the other animals. Sure, Sorry sure. Sorry about that. Please. Um, yeah, so there are other animals, I believe, that, okay, who's this? That's that that's Trigger. That was Joker, and Joker found a home. Oh, oh, good. That's Sadie. <gasps> Sadie. That's Patches. 
<laughs> Tonka, Joker. Yeah. Trigger. And where, yeah, Trigger. And that was Trapper, the little Trapper, the little, little brown yellow. one. And where are you finding the animals? So, you know, in any municipality, you can only take animals from that that city. Okay. So all of our dogs that we get are stray dogs um, that were just walking around the city of Horn Lake and uh, kind people stopped and saw them and either called us or they picked yeah. them up themselves and brought them into us. Yeah, I've been one of those people um, running up and down the street like a weirdo, you know, trying to get a, a stray dog. Yeah. Right, but um, it's not weird. There's, it's, I mean, it's it's not it's weird. Up, my heart goes out. They need to, us. Yeah, they need they God's need you creatures. to look out for yeah. them like yeah. that. They need all of us to do that. And, if, and you know what? If we all did that, if we all paid attention to them, maybe they wouldn't be in the position that they're in. Maybe there yeah. would be no need for a shelter. Right, right. You know. Wow. Well, you guys are amazing. Thank you, Glenn, Thank Nina, you. and. We hope you find a home together, your boyfriend and girlfriend, you. Thanks for joining us today.